So let's talk about a foolproof way to start. So the way to say that is, is a, a simple and gentle way to be more creative and productive. And when I talk a little bit more, that's going to make sense about the whole gentle way. And, and, and that's not usually the way people attempt to make themselves be creative and productive. So I got three uh, stories. One is something that happened to me this week. Um, and then one, I was in a coaching group and how I coached this guy, it sort of came up in a slightly different way. I will include that. And then there's, um, a story of a mentor coach that I had and, and how he described something. So, so for myself, so I was writing just yesterday, excuse me, very excited. Just yesterday, I went to my computer, got up in the morning, not really like, a little overwhelmed like where am I gonna be I'm writing the second novel at the time of the shooting this video I'm writing the second novel the first space fighters on prom day Chevy and sweetie action adventure right a little product placement second one sand sharks on spring break I'm writing it overall excited about it did some writing this week just amazing that I've, I've turned a corner and things are getting clear and I wrote little parts and I wasn't sure if it was gonna come together and it did and it is so it's all good but this morning, I'm just not feeling it, right? And so what I, what I really came up with, and I wrote it down, is the let's see what we've got here approach. Let's see what we got here. So I, I approach it, and I'm like, let's see what we got here. I just open up where I'm at, I'm looking at it, I read a few sentences, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, that would be funny. Oh, that'd be interesting. Oh, no, this is, I want to do this. And gently and gracefully write in. Okay? And we'll compare it to how other people do it. But that's the first one. And that's the real statement. If you take away anything from this whole video, let's see what we got here. Right? So a painter can come up there and pull out some paints and a brush. Let's see what we got here. Someone who wants to play the piano morning, piano more often can just sit down and put their even hands on the keyboard. Let's see what we got here. What, what's, what sheet music do I have here? And just play something. Let's see what we got here. No commitment. No stress. No... What am I going to do today? How many words am I going to do? Um, should I do this? Should I do that? Um, what, what am I, how am I going to meet my goal? What am I going to... Let's see what we got here. Like just, just casual. It's sort of like when you, have, when you bump into a friend on a street corner, right? Or, or they text you. Do you come up with a whole agenda? Like, this is what I need to talk about. This is, oh, I can't talk to them. You're like, hey, how's it going? What's happening? Let's see what we got here, right? Just... And then you have the conversation, and it's fun, and you connect, and you go to the beach. Do you feel that? Sure, maybe you take some shovels, maybe you take a towel, maybe you know you're going to jump in the water. But at every moment, do you have it all planned out? Let's see what we got here, right? And so the other, so I'm in a, in a group, right? And, and I'm coaching this guy, we share, and, 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 and the other team, other guy in the group says, um, Oh man, that's great. So tomorrow you can just hit the ground running. And I, and I swear, maybe I didn't see it, but the guy just like tensed up, right? I mean, it was, it was supposed to be said in a very positive, enthusiastic, supportive way. Oh, tomorrow, you know, since you had this time off and you had clarity, now you can hit the ground running. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, I can. And I'm like, well, you know what? Maybe tomorrow you can hit the ground walking. Or maybe tomorrow you can hit the ground and maybe just crawl around a bit. Or maybe you can tomorrow you'll hit the ground and roll around in the dirt and then get yourself off and brush yourself off and maybe you'll just have an average day. And, and, and everyone's like looking at me and, and that's where uh, a mentor coach of mine would say um, he would wish people to have an average day. And because when you ask, tell people to have a super day, a terrific day, a really great day, that can be a lot of pressure, right? I, going back to hit the ground running. Oh, I hope you hit the ground running tomorrow. Do you run the whole day? That could be exhausting. How long do I run? And hit the ground running, that's like something like falling out of a plane or jumping out of a car running. That sounds dangerous and hard, right? Have an average day. Hit the ground, walk around. Maybe just do one or two things. Maybe get up and say, oh, I'm going to do this and let's see what I got here. Open up the emails. Let's see what I got here. And all of a sudden, do one, do two, do three, right? So, so there's um, 
a gentle way to to actually increase creativity and productivity because there isn't pressure involved. So next time you're thinking about doing something, you're like, ah, let's see what we got here. Enjoy.